the Jimmy Garoppolo effect. Let's talk about this, and it's not to to belittle him or to make fun of him. Again, I just said I think it's probably a good thing that he started as long as he did this year. That way, the Niners could bring Brock Purdy like in in the eighth or ninth, you know, as opposed to having him pitch the entire time and be exposed to the batting order multiple times. I use baseball metaphors here. I'm sorry. That's all right. Uh, so I think it's. The entire season, we were asking the question, why are the Niners not scoring as many points as they should? All, I mean, all this talent. And they bring in McCaffrey. And the, the reason I didn't like the trade, I'm like, I kept saying, he, it's still Jimmy. You could give Jimmy Garoppolo, Jerry Rice, Bo Jackson, Calvin Johnson. He's going to put up 22 points a game. It's Jimmy. But at the same time, we also wondered, is it Trent Williams tipping plays? Is it Kyle? Is it Mike McDaniel leaving? There were so many questions. And now it feels like... It was like a, it was like a textbook with a bunch of you know homework, uh, brain teasers, and now we can just flip to the back and look at the answer, and it was like, oh, it was Jimmy, oh, it was Jimmy, and we could see it because now you put in another quarterback who's actually better in Brock Purdy, and oh, George Kittle's um, not washed up. In fact, no, he's still really, really good, and he's not just a guy who catches the ball on the flat; he's a deep threat. I mean, there's so many differences in the Niners' offense right now, and it's clear all those questions. Why is it not as good as the sum of his parts, Jimmy? And I'm sorry to say that, but I think that's the case. This is business, calling it like it is, and this is going to hurt him when he goes to free agency because he's having less and less of a argument as to what he contributed to this team. And now I understand why he wanted to stay here. And he, you want to be on this team. If you're a quarterback, oh, my God. You're going to win. Your number's going to look good. You're going to make a lot of money. He made a ton of money here. Now it's Brock's turn or someone else's. Yeah, you know, I, I do. Um, to me, the biggest problem with Jimmy Garoppolo is confidence. Uh, mm-hmm. He doesn't have that confidence to pull the trigger uh, when he sees something, right? He just doesn't have the confidence. Now, what makes me question this whole thing a little bit is because in 2017, he had that confidence and you've heard Jimmy Garoppolo make statements in regards to, and you've heard a lot of, did he though? There was a difference between his run and Brock's Brock's isn't isn't a playoff push within games that matter. Uh, Jimmy, they were eliminated. He, I mean, he didn't even put up that many points. I almost feel like we, we, he tricked us. He's not as confident as he seemed. He was charming. We, we, we confuse confidence with charm. I yeah. think there's a big difference between confidence on the football field and charisma in the press box. Right. But what I'm thinking, what I'm saying is I think what I think I'm trying to say is um, I'm wondering if at some point Kyle Shanahan saw the turnovers that Jimmy was getting and kind of said, Whoa, like, let's, you know, I wonder if that had any effect on him. All I know is Jimmy. You Thank to- you for bringing that up. Thank you for bringing that up. That's a key point. Let's talk about that. Okay. I think what happened with another thing with the Jimmy Garoppolo effect it brought out the worst in Kyle. He is not a run game guy. He is not a run first guy. But he didn't never he never trusted Jimmy. Yeah. He didn't want Jimmy. He didn't trust Jimmy. And once Jimmy started throwing picks, especially in the playoff game against Minnesota three, four years ago, whatever it was, he shut down on Jimmy. And yeah. you can't win a Super Bowl if you don't trust your quarterback. Can't yeah. do it. They tried. They freaking failed. And yeah. what's so great about the Brock Purdy effect is it's bringing out the best in Kyle Shanahan. Yeah. He trusts Brock Purdy. And you could see it from the moment Brock Purdy took the field against Miami. He's all calling those double moves down the field. He trusts Brock Purdy. And if they're, if he's ever going to win a Super Bowl, it's going to be because he trusts his quarterback. So, yeah. Yeah. That's a that, good thing. That's big, man. I think that was the biggest thing is confidence. Jimmy just lacked the confidence. And it's because Kyle didn't trust him. And maybe Kyle had reason for not trusting him. But you could see he trusts Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy has all the confidence in the world. Uh, especially for a young rookie, which is crazy uh, to have that much confidence. Brock Purdy seems like the kind of guy to like not even trip on what Kyle is telling him. Really, honestly, Agreed. you know, he's Agreed. just like whatever, dude. I'm I'm throwing this thing, you know. He's perfect because we, what we've always said about Kyle is really smart, but he's a micromanaging negative Nelly. You heard? We've that. said that so yeah. many times, and it seems like either he's not doing that with Brock, or Brock is impervious to it because yeah. he's so you know salty confident whatever like you just said it seems like it's a good marriage yeah uh, it was not a good marriage between him and jimmy you, you can see it man um, yeah for years so yeah sorry yeah, jimmy I mean, maybe you'll find a better he he could be playing for the raiders next year you don't know yeah yeah, yeah. it'd be i can't wait i cannot wait to watch jimmy on another team it's gonna be interesting to see uh how he plays under somebody else 
I don't think he's ever going to be another franchise quarterback. I think he's always going to be in that situation where if if he's a starter, he's got like one, you know, no guaranteed money past the first year, and they drafted a guy who's behind him who could be starting by week 10. He's always going to be in that situation, I think. Sorry. When they drafted Trey Lance, I predicted he was going to go battle – uh, Mac Jones in New England. So I'm hoping that's what happens just so I can say I was right. But that, yeah. we'll see what yeah, happens. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, it seems like the Raiders' first choice would be Brady. Brady might want to go there. He might want to play with Devontae Adams. And then Garoppolo, I, I can't stand Mac Jones. There's something about him, his personality, the yeah. way he plays in the field. He does dirty stuff. I don't like him. He's the Grayson um, Allen of the NFL. Yeah, I don't like him at all. Yeah. I, I, mm. 